and welcome to Level Up IAS and welcome back to 10 minute series. Today's topic for video is Gharana system in Khayal music. Now this is relevant for your exam this time because Prabha Atre, she received Padma Vibhushan in 2022 and she belongs to Kirana Gharana. As a result, Gharana system in itself becomes very important so we will look at that. Now before we start, I have given you one prelims question to attempt. You can mark your answers in the comment section. Similarly, I have given you one mains question. You can write your answers and we will evaluate your answers in the comment section. So let's begin. So before we start, let us look at Prabha Atre itself. She is a classical vocalist from the Kirana Gharana. Okay. Now before I discuss about Gharanas, our music, classical music, is divided into two streams, Carnatic and Hindustani. Hindustani music further divided into Drupad, Khayal music, Tappa, Kavali, Bhajan, etc. Okay, now this khayal is further divided into gharanas. This is important. Okay, now see, she Prabha Atre, she learned music from Suresh Babu Mane and Hirabai Badodekar. These two are imp themselves are very important personalities and they are the guru of Prabha Atre. Now she is the prominent figure and she has received all the three Padma awards. Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. She has received all the three. So this is very important. It can be asked in her exam. Now she has written many books. Swarammai and Suswarali. These two books are basically her compilations on articles of music. Articles of music. And her these two books Swarangini and Swaranjani. These two are compilations of her compositions. Okay, so this is important. Now she also holds the world record to have released 11 books from a single stage in 2016. Correct? Now moving forward, moving to Kirana Gharana. Now Kirana Gharana, the name it derives from Kirana which is in a place located in Shamli district of UP. Now before we start, uh, move further for Kirana Gharana. A Gharana basically derives its name either from the place where it originates or from the person who develops that or who makes that famous. Okay, these two are the ways in which you name a Gharana. Okay, now let us look at what do we mean by features of the Kirana Gharana. Individual notes of the Raga are not just random points in the scale but independent realms of music capable of horizontal expansion. Now we know that the notes are Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa and that way. Correct. Now what it says is Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, it's not just you have to move forward, but Sa in itself can be an independent realm of music. That is what it means by and what is the basic feature of Kirana Gharana. Okay. Now there are many famous persons who were part of this Kirana Gharana. First one is Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi. He received Bharat Ratna. So it makes him a very important personality associated with Kirana Gharana. Abdul Wahid Khan, this person. So he is very important. Then comes Hirabai Badodekar. So we studied Hirabai as he is a guru of Prabha Atre. We studied it here. Hirabai Badodekar, Guru of Prabha Atre. Then we have many other Basavraj, Bande Ali Khan, Pandit Savai Gandhar and many others. Okay, now coming to what do we mean by Khayal music. Now the word Khayal is basically what do we mean by the word? It means imagination, correct? So the idea of a song that is imaginative and creative in either its nature or execution is called Khayal music. Okay, now 
what is the difference Rom- it is more of a romantic poetry with greater freedom of expression than drupad drupad i already told you here is one of the styles of hindustani music so it has more freedom than the drupad style okay now khayal composition is referred to as bandish which are short songs now khayal also uses two songs basically bada khayal and chota khayal bada khayal is a song which is sung in slow tempo whereas chota khayal is sung in fast tempo okay now how did khayal music originated now there are mixed or controversial views about it but we will stick to the one that it originated with amir khusro okay now how did khayal music grew it grew in the 17th century jaipur with a prolific prolific champion in sadaram who was a musician in the court of mohammad shah and he was a descendant of tanzin okay tanzin belonged to gwalior gharana it was not a gharana that time from gwalior okay so that is what we have to learn from khayal music now moving further what is a gharana as we discussed it is a hindustani music of india a community of performers who share a distinctive music style that traces to a particular instructor or region instructor is basically a personality we are talking about and region a place so khayal music can is associated either to a place or to a person okay which makes it distinctive now any music cannot be called as gharana music for gharana music to be for a music to be called gharana music it has to pass down through three generations okay then only it can be called as khayal gharana sorry a gharana basically now the main difference between the gharanas are how the notes are sung different gharanas like patiala gharana agra gharana delhi gharana that way the main difference is how the notes are sung that is the basic difference now coming to the question how did gharana system emerged okay see during the time of mughal there were big patrons of art and music so they had number of musicians in their own court but when the mughal started declining they started having less money they did not have enough capabilities to maintain such large number of artsmen and musicians in their court so the people started moving out from the mughal area that is the delhi area and they started moving to nearby places beat patiala beat agra beat jaipur that way so because we had princely states over there so they started taking these musicians in and the musicians started singing according to their taste their rulers taste okay as how they developed how they like the music as a result different gharanas developed okay this is one point second point is aurangzeb he banned music in his court now as a result people started moving out and same process happened so these two are the basically main factors which resulted into the emergence of gharana system okay now what are the characteristics of different gharanas gwalior gharana is the most important and it's the biggest one it started by ustad nathan peer baksh and the main characteristic or features of this gharana is it gives equal emphasis on melody and rhythm coming to kirana gharana miyan bade ali khan it started him now precise tuning and expression of notes is given importance mayar gharana started by alauddin khan it is famous for its sitar music jaipur gharana started by aladia khan distinctive vocal aesthetics and technical aptitude is given is one of the major features now patiala gharana is very different what it does is it borrows from the other gharanas and it merges them and it is started by miya kalu okay now agra gharana is also different what it does is it gives you a blend of khayal gayaki and drupad dhramar okay 
Drupad music and Khayal Gaiki they are blended together to form Agra Gharana and it is started by Nayak Gopal. This is another important characteristic. Now, as we move forward in the present world, we see that there is a decline of the Gharana system. Now, why is that? Because how did Gharana system emerged with the decline of Mughals? So, how did it decline now is after independence, we had an abolishment of princely states. As a result, there were no patrons who patronized these musicians. So, nobody paid. As a result, they started declining. This is first point. Second is, with the introduction of new technology, influence of western music, people started moving towards them. And as a result, they did not listen to this Gharana music or Gharana music declined because there was no demand of it. As a result, it declined. Another important thing for Gharana music is, for Gharana music to develop, what we need is audio recordings which were not possible, musical notation which was unsophisticated. So as a result, music material and Gharana music was preserved. But today in contemporary time, students have unlimited access to diverse concerts, audio recordings and their training is also often conducted under more than one teacher. Now what has happened because of this is, earlier the isolation was required for gurus to develop this system of gharana but now that isolation is not possible because students are have different audio recordings diverse concerts as i told you so as a result this migration and breakdown of traditional society resulted in the decline of gharanas now what is the relevance of gharana system the Gharana system, different diversities is still present in today's society. We have Gwalior Gharana, Patiala Gharana, Agra Gharana. So we know that with these Gharanas, diversity still exists in today's world, which is a very, very big relevance, which still exists. Second thing is, with these Gharanas, the tradition is still surviving. Otherwise, it would have vanished till now. Correct? Now, I told you that the major reason for decline of Gharana is influence of Western music. But it's not just this. In Western music has also, as it came to our country, our music has gone to different countries. Now, Gharana system is not just restricted to India, it's a world phenomena, which has resulted in international cross-pollination, because of which it has become very relevant. Okay, I hope you like this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.